Hey, what's going on? This is Zagatardi 2744 here today to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. This is finally an untethered jailbreak. I'm going to go ahead and prove to you guys that I'm running iOS 5.0.1 here really quickly, but this will work for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd generation, iPod Touch 4th generation, and the original iPad. Unfortunately, for the A5 devices, including the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2, we are not going to see a jailbreak quite yet for the untethered, but hopefully in the near future. All you need to to do is go ahead and plug your device into your computer. I do advise you to go ahead and back up and sync your device first into iTunes on your computer just to make sure you don't lose any of your content on your device. Go ahead and power it off and you're going to need one simple download which is available in the link in the description below. Go ahead and go on over to my website iosnova.com and I have a handy dandy jailbreak tab there. Go down to Red Snow and the first link there is going to be 0.9.10 beta 1. Go ahead and download that for your Mac or Windows. Now I'm going to be showing you this on a Windows computer, but steps are similar on a Mac. Now you're going to go ahead and download that. I do recommend saving that to your desktop. Once you have Red Snow, go ahead and open it up. Click Run, and it's going to go ahead and show this menu here. Go ahead and click Jailbreak. Now the next step is something that you need to follow along if you don't know how to put your device into DFU mode. You have previously shut off your device so your device does need to be off like I said and simply all you do is hold the power button for a certain amount of time then the home button and the power button and then you release the power button. It's going to guide you through specific times on the uh, red snow once you go ahead and click next. So as you can see I'm holding my power button then my power and home for six more seconds. And then it'll tell me to go ahead and release the power button and hold it for 15 seconds. Once that's done, you're going to have your device completely into DFU mode here a little bit longer. Like I said, this is a complete untethered jailbreak, so you don't have to reboot it automatically whenever your device shuts off or uh, reboots itself randomly. You're going to have to, you used to have to be able to reboot it with your computer if it was tethered. I was currently running a tethered before this, uh, but untethered means you don't have to do that, which is great because if, you're, if your device ever powers off or loses battery or reboots on its own or restarts, uh, you won't have to plug that into the computer in order to, to basically make it work. Now it's going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and skip through because it does take some time. As you can see, it is finishing up patching the kernel. This can take some time. Like I said, uh, this is the process of jailbreaking. Once it's done patching the kernel you're going to see some fill in the boxes here all you need to make sure you have filled in is install Cydia you need that filled in uh, you don't have to have enabled battery percentage there all it does is show the percentage next to your battery you don't need that it's going to go ahead and do the next steps of the jailbreak it's going to go ahead and upload the RAM disk and then you're going to see some white text the white text will go ahead and load through. This does take some time, so I'm kind of skipping through. You don't have to do anything. Just make sure your device is staying plugged in during this whole process. Like I said, white text will go through. It's kind of cool to watch. Uh, nothing bad is happening to your device right now. I will let you know that things can go wrong with a jailbreak. In that case, if something does go wrong while jailbreaking, just go ahead, put it back in the DFU mode, and try the jailbreak again. As you can see, we are installing the bun bundles. That is the Pawn Apple. Yes, the Pawn. On Apple uh, will show up at this time. Your device is going to go ahead and reboot here, and I'm going to go ahead and skip through that as well. And once your device is done rebooting, it'll go ahead and finish here in a bit. Uh, basically, you're going to see that your device now has Cydia on it. Now, you might run into the issue where you have a white city icon or maybe you don't even see the icon it's an issue that i will address in a in the description i'll have a link to a fix to it to my on my website it'll basically hopefully help you out with this error uh mine still does work so when i click on it it's going to work it really doesn't bother me just because the icon's white uh so i'm not going to bother with it in this video but like i said i'm not going to leave you guys hanging if you do have this issue with the white city icon i will have a link available in the description below you can just click on that it'll lead you to my website and and hopefully I will have a tutorial up there or I will have a tutorial up there which will be able to help you out. As you can see, the device is successfully jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1. Thank you guys for watching this. Zach 2744. Please feel free to go ahead and subscribe for more of our iOS devices. I'm making videos all the time over our iOS devices. You guys can go ahead and leave your comments and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Visit the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. As well, check out iOSnova.com for up-to-date iOS news. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Zach 2744.